Hi friends, in the last videos we covered very clearly about language fundamentals concept, operators and assignment and then input and output statements also. Okay, by this time almost around 80 videos we completed, right? You are getting basic idea about Python, just a small small programs you are in the position to do that sir. Sir, now the fourth topic what we have to start flow control what is that statement what is the topic name sir flow control is the topic what we have to discuss sir it's a very common requirement if i'm writing some 20 lines 30 lines of the code some students are going to ask sir can you please tell which line will be executed first or what is the next line is going to execute can you please explain flow control flow flow sir a program flow like they may ask so yet the runtime in which order the statements will be executed is decided by flow control sir remember this one can you please explain control flow control flow or in which order the statements will be executed at runtime is decided by flow control remember that suppose here we have if a statement is there sir assume assume some if statement is there if for this condition is the true if this condition is the true it will be executed sir sir else else it will be executed so if you have if statement if else statement either if part will be executed or else part will be executed but not both so if else statement is going to control our flow similarly sir i have for loop is there sir assume that some some code for loop is there Sir, now a group of statements are going to be executed repeatedly, iteratively, iteratively like this, right? Suppose suddenly in the middle break statement is coming, break is coming, sir. Now the control is come out of the for loop, come out of the for loop like, uh, do you know which statements are going to affect our control flow? Those statements are by default considered as flow control statements. Uh, clear for all of you, right? In Python, which control flow statements are there? We have to discuss. Uh, just observe all control flow, flow control statements divided into three categories, right? The first one selection statements what is the first category sir selection statements this is the first category sir based on some condition can you please select one option and execute suppose if else is there two options are there but at runtime based on the condition only one option is going to be executed either if part or else part like sir here which which statements are there if a statement we can discuss or if else we can discuss next if elif else we can discuss or simply if elif also we can discuss these things are selection statements among multiple options one option will be selected and that option will be executed such type of statements are called selection statements of course with the example with the syntax with the programs i will explain there you people can get much clarity just i'm explaining the agenda for our flow control topic so next and after that one more sometimes a group of statements are required to execute iteratively a group of statements are required to execute iteratively such type of statements are called iterative statements are getting iterative iterative statements right okay not uh, irritative okay not irritative iterative statements a group of statements are required to execute iteratively okay those are things are called iterative statements Sir, which are iterative statements, right? For loop, next and after that while loop. These two are iterative statements what we have. Okay, right? Sir, next, uh, sometimes, do you know, I want to transfer control from one place to another place. Are you getting? The control should be transferred. Such type of statements are called transfer statements. Remember this one, sir. Those statements are called transfer statements okay transfer transfer statement which statements are transfer statements break break next continue break continue continue next pass we have to discuss break and continue these things are by default considered as 
transfer statements right okay yatha part of our our flow control topic all these things we require to discuss in detail next and after that even we have to talk about pass and del these keywords also we have to discuss in detail don't worry sir are you getting this is the agenda for our flow control first i will start selection statements next if else elephant swan next iterative statements we are going to discuss and then transfer statements after that pass and del these are special keywords also i will discuss right okay right like, now i have one small doubt by seeing this one sir what's my doubt is sir you are telling if a part if else next if l if else if l if like multiple option where is the switch statement sir i am coming from java i know switch statement is there sir even in c language also switch statement is there where is the switch statement in python very simple sir there is no switch statement in python clear for all of right so switch switch statement concept is not there in the python next sir immediately i may have another doubt sir you have for loop while loop but in c language do while is also there or in java do while is also there what about do while loop in python sir so please make sure do while is not is not there in the python we have only two loops for loop and while loop only next uh, immediately you may ask uh, sir go to statement is there in the c language do you have such type of statement sorry man no go to statement in python so switch statement do while and go to these things are not applicable in python remember this one only if else elif and if if el, elif else only this syntax next up for and while there is no do while there is no switch statement break and continue that's all go to is not there sir but return statement is there that return statement we will discuss in detail in functions concept just up to this try to get familiarity are you in the position to understand right sir now i will explain if statement how you can use what is the syntax like this right but take very special care here i have to talk about what is indentation the most valuable concept what is indentation error that part also compulsory we should require here observe in c language or java language like other languages right how to define if if statement can you please observe if either c language or java assume that it is the java language most of the people have if some condition if some condition sir this is the body we have to take if for some condition this is the body sir if this condition is satisfied then this action we have to perform are you getting if for this condition not satisfied then it is not going to do now if i can take any statement outside curly brace it is not under if block correct or not how you can assign sir this is within within the if block by using curly braces we can define it is the if block if you are taking any statement outside of if block now it is considered as yes, normal statement it is uh, outside of curly braces mean outside of if block are you getting so by using curly braces you can define a block of statements a block a block of statements this is our style in other languages like c language c++ java this is the style sir but in python curly braces style is not there then how you can define this statement is under if this statement is outside of if how you can aware sir how you can define if block very very important take very special care sir so now in python how you can define sir observe very carefully sir i'm taking if if some condition if some condition okay whatever condition you want to check sir sir here parenthesis are optional if you want you can take within parenthesis this condition or without without parenthesis also most of the times i won't take parenthesis if the condition is a very big condition then only i will take okay if if condition next uh, i have to open curly brace i have to open curly brace but curly braces story is not applicable in python that's why here just take a colon 
so in python anywhere we are taking colon means uh, we are defining block okay well sir after colon now i have to define block up statements correct or not so this block up statement you should not start from here okay compulsory some space we have to take here here statement one statement one here statement two here statement three have you observed how many spaces we are taking how many how many spaces we are taking here here and here all are having same space correct or not these statements are said to be same indentation are getting these statements are said to be same indentation okay so colon followed by this ind ind indent indent block is by default considered as if right now can you please tell the statement 3 is under if condition or not yes statement 2 under if condition statement 1 under if condition right sir now i want to write some statement which is not under if statement it is after if block i want to take one independent statement then you should not take here are you getting if you are taking here with this indentation it is also considered as under if now i am taking statement 4 are you getting here the spaces here where this line started is the different okay now only these statements are considered yes under if condition this statement having different indentation that's why it is not under if block are you in the position to understand right so in python how you can define if block only two points right one is colon second one is indentation one is colon second one with the indentation that's all these are the only things what you people should you were clearly right okay like by mistake if you are not following indentation then immediately you are going to get indentation error are you getting immediately we will get indentation error indentation error sir being beginner being learner of the python sir i am learning first time python oh several times you are getting this type of things right that's why while defining blocks uh, compulsory we have to maintain indentation number of spaces must be same here four spaces are there here also four here also four having same indentation that's why this group of statements are considered as under if so now this is statement not having any this indentation so it is the independent after if block this one is going to execute so take a bit very special care about indentation clear right now let me go for have a look once here i'm taking so here here i'm taking sir very very simple it is the python enabled editor if it is the python enabled editor sir if you are using normal editor normal notepad sir normal notepad i'm taking if condition here just observe that if a condition condition next if i click enter immediately control is coming to first first line only okay you have to take care about indentation so give one or two spaces give one or two spaces like uh, now statement one statement one again it will go to sir same space we have to take a statement two statement two next again we have to maintain same number of spaces statement three okay well these are three statement considered yes under if condition okay like next statement four i want to write yes this statement four is not under if statement remember this one sir but who is going to take care about this adding these spaces and so on so we have to take care because it is the normal notepad which can't recognize our our indentation right but it the python enabled editor our edit plus python enabled editor sir what here observe carefully if if condition colon if condition colon if i enter automatically the control is not coming at the beginning the control is coming at this line means that indentation means that indentation automatically maintain that is the advantage of python enabled editors next ide is concept so indentation is very easy most of the times our editors our ides are going to take care we are not required to worry okay well now i'm taking here here statement 1 statement 1 statement 2 sir here observe observe carefully sir statement uh, 
uh, here enter statement uh, one i'm taking sir statement one now enter automatically it's going to maintain same indentation enter 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 same indentation automatically it will maintain sir enter like now i want a different indentation now here statement for like this right okay this is the way how you can follow indentation this is the if block remember very very carefully sir same way for while block methods functions classes everywhere we have to use sir colon followed by indentation to define that is the block like this right everyone can aware right okay well suppose if you are not following indentation what will happen sir have a look once a small thing i'm i'm taking if if 10 less than 20 if 10 less than 20 now what is my statement is print of print of 10 is uh, lesser than lesser than 20 like this i'm taking sir yes am i maintaining indentation or not yes indentation is there okay now print of end of print of end of program print of end of program like this i'm taking sir so if this condition is satisfied it is going to execute sir next uh, this one is the end of end of program like perfect indentation is the clear sir now let me execute this code have a look once 10 is less than 20 end of program like this right by mistake i didn't follow indentation <laughs> are you getting right i didn't follow indentation directly sir this line is also starts from if where is the indented block okay there should be block with indentation but you didn't define indentation block immediately you are going to get uh, indentation error observe carefully now have a look once what answer by default we are going to get sir indentation error expected yarn indented block okay clear right so this is what you people should be aware about the indentation and the indentation block okay well sir now let me go for a simple example what is the syntax for if statement so how can you please give an example like sir very simple if this condition is satisfied here parentheses are optional if you want you can take otherwise you can ignore if uh, this condition is satisfied execute this uh, statement so if this condition not satisfied then without executing this statement can you please continue remaining statements uh, this uh, type of syntax is by default considered yes if a uh, condition right okay i will go for a small example so that you people can get much clarity